Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to add testimonial slider in WordPress Elementor. So let's just begin. Okay. So as you can see the dashboard here of the WordPress. Now what we need to do to add the testimonial slider, I have to go inside the plugin. We have to add a new plugin here. Okay. So in the plugin, I need to write element pick. Okay. And you will get the plugin at the top of the search element pack elementor add-on by the BD theme. So we have to install this plugin. Now we have to activate this plugin. Now we are inside the dashboard of element pack settings. Okay. So what I need to do to add the testimonial slider, I have to go inside the core widgets and I have to search for review. So as you can see here that we got the four different options in review so it is the google review it is the review card review card grid and we also have the review card carousel so we have to enable this and i would save the settings now i have to go inside the page where i want to add the testimonial slider okay so i have to click on the edit with elementor now what i need to do i have to search for review carousel and as you can see here we have the review card carousel so i have to add this all right so now you can see the slider here so what i need to do okay so let's just scroll it down okay let's just click on it and now you can see here we have the review card items in which we have the name job title and the reviews or the description okay so we can simply change it just by clicking on any name here Okay, so you can change the name from here. You can change the job title from here. You can even change the rating from here. And if you want to add the testimonial or delete the testimonial, you can simply do it from here. And you can also see here that we can even do the formatting here to the bold, italic and underline. And we can even convert this into the heading as well. But we won't go into this and you can even add the bulleted list and numbered list. Okay, so let's just add a picture here. All right, so I will simply add this picture and you can change the name from here. I would like to add Lucy and the job title is SEO expert. Okay, that's great. Okay, so this is how we can actually change the image title, job title and the description of the testimonial here. Okay, and you can even change the rating from here. And in the similar way, you can also add it the other users here you can change the names you can change the image you can change the job title and you can also change the testimonial okay so now we will go into the additional setting so what do we got in the additional setting so in the additional setting i actually have the columns so right now you can see that we have the three columns or so the three cards here so i can actually convert this into the two columns if you want to and we can even convert this into the four columns that's really up to you so we go with the three columns here and in the item gap, that is actually the space between these cards. So if you want to increase the space, you can simply increase the value here. If you want to decrease the space, you will simply uh, decrease the value here. All right. So we will actually stick with the default value here. And we also have the item image height. Okay. And it is enabled. So it simply means that the height of all of the cards, all of the item cards should be equal. Okay, and we also have the show names. So if you want to show the name, it would be enabled. But if you don't want to show the name, you would simply disable this. Okay, and you can even change the HTML tag for the name. Okay, from here, you can even convert it into the heading one or the paragraph. And in the similar way, you can enable or disable the job title from here. And you can also enable or disable the show ratings here. So if I disable this, you won't be able to see the ratings here. So in the rating, we have the two options, the star rating and we also have the numbered rating. So it will give us the rating in a number. All right. So let's just stick with the star right now. We have the rating position and in which we have the two options. If I want to add the rating before the text or after the rating text. So it's all up to you how you want to position the rating here. Okay. So we also have the show review text. So if you want to enable this, you will keep it like this. But if you don't want to enable this or if you want to disable it, you will simply disable this from here. Similar way, we have the show image. Uh, you can change the size of the image from here. You can change the position of the image from here, as you can see here. And you can even change the mask of the image. Okay, so you can see the different positions here. 
okay so this is how the image mask works okay so let's just put it to the default value and you have the alignment if you want to align it to the left you will simply click here and if you want to align it to the center you will simply click here to the right and justified okay so i would simply put it to the left here okay all right so after the additional setting we have the navigation so in the navigation as you can see that we have the arrows we have the arrows with the dot okay so let's just click this and you would see the dots here all right and you can also have the arrows with the friction you can just have the arrows or the dots uh, we can even have the progress so let's just click on the progress and you can see the progress bar here okay so let's just stick to the arrows and the dots here and in the arrows in the dot you can have the dynamic bullets okay so what does it actually means it will actually show the number of dot which depends on the number of cards okay so you can also show a scroll bar here all right so now you can see the scroll bar here okay so this is it okay so now you can see that we have the position of the arrows in the dot we can even change it from here and we also have the arrow icon which is default so you can also change its style all right so this is how we can change the arrow icon and if you want to hide the arrow on the mobile you would simply enable this okay so now we will actually talk about the carousel settings so in the carousel settings we have the layout and in which we have the two values the carousel and the cover flow so if we add the cover flow it would have the different layout so you now you can see that we have the cover flow layout but i would stick with the carousel here and in the carousel setting we have the autoplay of this uh, slider so as you can see here it is right now on the autoplay mode and this is the autoplay speed and if you want to pause it when i hover over the slider you can simply do it by enabling this okay and the slides to scroll okay so if you want to scroll a single slide you can simply put a single value here but if you want to scroll the three slides all together okay you would simply put the value of the three here now you can see that it would actually scroll the three values all together okay so let's just put it to the one and we also have the center slide it simply means that our slider will only slide from the center slide okay we also have the option of grape cursor okay so if i just enable this and now you can see this i can grab our cards here okay so this is how we can use this and we also have the option of drag free mode but i won't be using this i will just leave this up to you if you want to experiment with this and we also have the loop which is enabled animation speed observer and etc all right so that is actually the setting of our testimonial slider and we can also play around the ui of our testimonial sliders so i would just go in the style and now you can see here the styling of the item so i would actually give it a background color here so that would be actually a red color so as you can see here this is how you can change the color of your testimonial slider you can even add the image you can even add the border type and we have the width of the border color of the border border radius padding k box shadow and etc all right so we also have the image here so if you want to add the border to the image you can simply add it from here now you can see here uh, you can change the width you can change the color you can change the border radius okay and you can even change the size of the image i guess yes you can even change the size of the image here okay so this is how we can play around with the properties of the image we also have the css filter box shadow and the offset and we can also mess up with the properties of the name you have the color you have the hard color you have the spacing typography text color and in the similar way we have a uh, similar kind of properties here in the job title same goes for the description text and you can even change the color of your rating star okay if you wanted to if you want to convert it to the black you can do it clear this and put the value to the default you can even change the margin change the size and space between the stars and we also have the navigation in the end so if you want to change the color of the arrow or the background color of the arrow you can change it from here and we also have the border type border radius padding size and space between the arrows and the box shadow and we also have the uh, styling we also have the properties of the dots here okay the advanced size space between size color and etc etc all right so this is how we can actually add the testimonial slider in our elementor as i have shown you in the tutorial that we have a lot of the different properties that we can manipulate it would obviously have the effect on the ui of our testimonial slider all right so now let's just save all these settings and i would actually love to 
check out our page so let's just click on the view page here and now you will be able to see the testimonial slider on our page all right so this is how we can actually create the testimonial slider in the elementor and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel